In this class, we are going to learn how to get the data from the Fusion with the help of BIP report and display the data on the page developed in Visual Builder application. I have created this demo application. In this application, what I am trying to do is I have created a parameter in my BIP report SQL query. When I pass that query, I will get the details of the account information for a customer. Like suppose if I don't give anything over here and click on search, I have not customized this application with the fancy thing like when we click on the search button, we will get some animation like loading. All those things we had already studied in our previous class. In this class, we will just focus on the concept that is how to get the details from the VIP report and display in the tabular fashion in Visual Builder application page. Here when I clicked on search, I will get the details of all the customers which are present in my Fusion instance and these are the details like what is the code, what is the ID and what is the status like whether they are active or inactive. Suppose I give the name of a particular customer and click on search, I should be getting the details of only that particular customer. Like here in this case in the result I am seeing the details for ABC application software like a status, consumer and the ID. So this is just for a demonstration purpose I have created a BIP report but in the actual business requirement in your projects you might have a complex scenario wherein you have to pull lot of information with the help of BIP report and display in the page. Now first thing what I have done is on click of the button this visual builder application will make a call to integration and integration in turn will make a call to BIP report web service. Now first thing I will show you how my BIP report looks like then we will see how the integration is built and then also we will subsequently see how the SOAP web service for the BIP report works. I am here in my Fusion instance. Here is my BIP report that is data model and the report. First of all I will show you the data model so that should be sufficient for you to understand how my BIP report has been created. I have built this data model with the help of this SQL query. Let me show you the query over here. I am displaying the customer ID, account ID, class code and the status that is from the customer accounts table wherein I have created a parameter if you see over here there is a P accounts name parameter I have created and I am fetching only first 100 rows. So this is just a dummy SQL query which I have considered for this demonstration. If I test over here with the sample data first I will query with the empty parameter value I will should get the 5 records because I have selected 5 rows. Suppose I am populating over here one of the customer name and clicking on view. I am seeing the details for only that particular customer that is ABC application software and similar thing we had seen over here when we clicked on search we should be getting the details for only ABC application software. Suppose if I remove the name from here and click on search. I get all the details for the customer. So same thing is displayed over here. This VBCS is just a wrapper which we have created on top of our Fusion BIP report. Now we have seen this BIP report as I told we are making use of a SOAP web service in order to fetch the details from this BIP report. So this is the BIP report web service that is external report WSS service. This we had already seen in our previous classes how to fetch the records with the help of SOAP web service and display the details with the help of integration but we had not seen with the help of visual builder. So in this class we had demonstrated the same. So in this SOAP web service we have to provide the path, path of our BIP report. So if I show you the BIP report path. So this is the path that is custom A test 01 and this is our report and dot .xto is the extension for our reports. So this is the parameter p account name which we have created and in the response we will get the base 64 encoded string. So this we have to convert to a comma separated value. This work is done by the integration. Now you might get a question like why we have introduced the integration in between BIP report and display the data over here in the visual builder application. The reason is in the visual builder application here we don't have an option to configure the SOAP web service. Only there is an option to call a REST web service. So SOAP web service is not supported at the time of recording this class. So only option is we have to call the integration. That integration we have to expose our REST protocol and within the integration we have to call the SOAP web service. So this one. Now we have seen the BIP report in detail how I have created the SQL query. Then we had seen what is the SOAP web service which we are using in order to fetch the details in the response we are getting the base 64. Now we are making use of an integration which will make a call to this SOAP web service. Here is the sample integration which I have created which will make a call to the SOAP web service and get the details and convert to a JSON format or in other words I have created this integration which is exposed over a REST protocol so that we can consume from the Visual Builder application. Now let me just touch this integration and show you. First I will touch this with a sample customer name that is ABC application software click on run. 
So this will make a call to this SOAP web service, get the details and display in the response that is in the JSON format. Now let me just remove this value of a customer name and click on run. Here in the response, I am seeing the details of all the customers. So same thing we have seen over here in the Visual Builder. So Visual Builder is populating the details with the help of this integration response. So in the JSON, whatever is shown over here in the integration response, this Visual Builder will convert into a table format and display on the screen for the user. Now let us just walk through this VIP report integration. First thing is I have exposed this integration over a REST protocol. So the request and the response format we had seen while testing this integration. Next is we are making a SOAP connection over here and we are invoking this SOAP BIP external report WSS service and we are populating those details that is the account name parameter value and the path in the mapper and in the response we are getting a base HT4 data for a response that is the BIP response we are getting in the base HT4 format. The same thing is done over here. I am having a SOAP connection over here and in the mapper I am sending all those details whatever you see over here. So once we get the details, we are just checking whether the data is there or not. If the data is there, that is base 64 data is there, then we are reading the data and converting into a JSON format with the help of this stage read and the mapper. So this is a very simple integration which I have created whose job is just to invoke a BIP report, see whether there is a data or not and convert to a JSON format. Now coming to the Visual Builder application. So this is a simple web page which I have created wherein I have created few variables which will hold the parameter that is whatever user enters over here the name. So it will be stored here in this search variable account name. So this variable will hold that value. This search ready variable I have used when the user clicks on search this table component if you see it goes off from the screen. So when the data is ready then only this table component will be shown. So this is used for that purpose. Now account details ADP this is used to store the response from our integration that is this response we are storing in this ADP response and the request is the request what we sent for this integration. Like we had seen while testing integration, integration accepts only the name parameter in the request. Now coming to the page designer. Let me just go to design mode. So this is a simple boilerplate code what we get when we create a visual builder application in our instance. So here is the input text component which I have binded to a account name which I have created in the variables which I had shown. When the user clicks on search, what I have done is I have created an event, button action event. What it does is first of all it will reset the response that is the previous response what we got from the invocation. Like suppose if the user clicks on this multiple times the search button it will reset the variable. Then also it will reset this search ready so that the table will go off from the screen. Next we are making a call to our integration. So whatever user had entered in the input text area that we are mapping over here to the input request for our integration. And once we get the response from our integration what we are doing is we are assigning the response to this ADP variable which I had created. So this I have mapped over here to the results and to the items that is this one this I have dropped over here and also we are marking this search ready variable to true so that we will get the table component on the screen. So this is a very simple implementation which I have used in order to demonstrate how to fetch the data from the BIP report with the help of SOAP web service as Visual Builder application cannot directly call a SOAP web service I am making use of integration which can talk with this SOAP web service and get the details from the BIP report and it will convert to JSON format and the same integration we are making a call from this Visual Builder application and populating the details over here in the tabular fashion.